how to convert the video to an mp4 file on the iPad. I'm going to give you two options here, guys. First of all, let me explain something real quick. One would think that we could just use the native iMovie app on the iPad to convert a video to an MP4. For example, let's say we have a .mov file. Shouldn't we just be able to put that into iMovie and then just export that video and save it as an MP4 file? Well, we should, but actually on the iPad, we can't. With iMovie, you actually can do it, but only on a Mac, but not on the iPad. So one way for you to solve this problem would be to send your video with AirDrop, for example, to your Mac and then open up iMovie there. And there you can save it as an MP4 file. You can see how this is done in this video here. But I promised you guys that I'm going to show you how to do this directly on the iPad. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you now. So hang on, please. In fact, the two options that we have on the iPad to get this done are using a video editing software called DaVinci Resolve, or we can open up a converter website on the iPad directly to get this feed done. I will show you both of these. First of all, let us have a look at the easier method, which is using this website. For this purpose, we're going to open up Safari, but if you have another browser on your iPad, that's totally fine as well. And once you have the browser opened up, you want to go to the website cloudconvert.com. Now on this website here, here on the upper right, you need to define from which file type to which file type you would like to go. So in many cases, as far as video is concerned, we want to change a .mov file to a .mp4 file. So if that is what you want to do, tap on this field here, make sure to choose MOV, and then here on the right side, make sure to select MP4. You can then simply upload your video by tapping here on select file. Then we choose from my computer. In our case, it's obviously the iPad, but this works as well. Then we can go to photo library or to files, depending on where you save the file. And then you can just simply choose the video file that you would like to convert into MP4 by tapping on it. And once the video file is uploaded here, all that is left for us to do is to tap here on convert. And if it is the first time that you're going to use this website, this is going to work for you. In my case here, it says conversion credits exceeded because I already converted a file a little bit earlier on. However, I could still use this service here for free, but I would need to sign up. So to summarize, you can use this website to, to convert your videos to MP4 files, but it comes with certain restrictions. If you don't want to have any kind of restrictions when it comes to converting videos to MP4 files on the iPad, you would need to make use of method 2, which is using DaVinci Resolve for iPad. And this is what we're going to talk about next. To install DaVinci Resolve, we're first of all going to open up the App Store and in the search field on top, search for DaVinci Resolve for iPad. We've got it here now. In my case, it already says open because I already installed it on my iPad. In your case, it's going to say get here. So to download and install this software, you would have to tap here on get. Please note that this might take a while because it's almost four gigabytes to download. Once the download is done, you can open it up from here or you will also find it here in your apps. I'm just going to open up DaVinci Resolve now. Please note that this is the free version, but even the free version of DaVinci Resolve is incredibly powerful and we can easily convert videos to MP4 files even with just the free version of DaVinci Resolve, which is really awesome. So we're going to open up DaVinci Resolve now. Now in the upper left corner of the screen, make sure that the media tab is selected. Then tap here on import media. Import your MOV video file or other type of video file that you would like to convert to an MP4 by tapping on it and then by tapping on open here in the upper right corner of the screen. Then tap and drag that video clip and put it onto the timeline. And now if you don't want to make any changes to it and just want to export it as an mp4 file, tap on export in the upper right corner of the screen. And you can now simply tap on the YouTube preset here. Even if you don't want to use it for YouTube, that actually doesn't matter, but this will actually make sure that it gets exported as an mp4 file. And that's about it already. The final step for us is to tap here on export. Make sure that the location here actually corresponds to where you would like to save the file. And then to finalize the process, tap on save in the upper right corner of the screen. And you're done. That's it. You can now simply open up the files app here, then go to the location where you saved this file. And you will find your file there as an mp4 file. And as mentioned before, the good thing with DaVinci Resolve is that even in the free version, you can repeat this process as many times as you want. There are no restrictions to that and there's not even a single sign up needed for that. If you don't care about the free sign up though, you can also use this Adobe website here to convert your video files on the iPad to MP4 files. I will leave the link to this page in the description of this video. And that's it guys. This is how you convert videos to MP4 files on the iPad. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more iPad tutorials.